Hey guys, welcome to 3D HP. My name is Jerry, and my laser showed up. Yes, it's already installed. Yes, I done a bunch of test prints. But then I had an issue, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Let's get to unboxing. Well, my ComGrow laser just came in the mail. A 5 watt off Amazon. Let's take a look and see what we got here. I'm going to be putting this on my DIY laser that I built, but it's compatible with the Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro, Ender 3 V2, Ender 5, Ender 5 Pro, etc. There's different machines that they put it on. Mounting bracket. So you can adjust its height up and down, it appears. Here are my green glasses. Cord to connect it. Let's see. And this appears to be like you'd put on an Ender 3, where you can hook it up to the board, where you can have your uh, your fan hooked up, or you can hook it up, hook the laser head up. I won't be using that, I don't believe. Won't need it. It appears to be a lens, clear lens. Oh. Ready, and in the bottom we got some samples. Wood. Three pieces. It's nice to include. Take a look at this laser. Wow. It's very nice. So mounting holes in the back so I can mount it up on my DIY setup. Very nice. Well, let's get this installed and uh, test it out and make some goodies. It's very cool. Nice looking unit. Yeah, one thing that was really nice about when I set this up, I mount it from the bottom of the acrylic to my work area to the surface you're going to be engraving is 22 millimeters. So off my K40, I've got this little deal here, and I marked it with a pen. So basically, I can go from the top of that acrylic to my work surface, and that's my 22 millimeters for my work area. So that worked out real well. And as I'll show you in some of the test prints here, the higher I increase the power, basically the worst my test prints got until I got to a point where I tested it all day long many different prints and then finally in the middle of a print it quit burning and I'm thinking oh no what happened well I've got this little 13 or 14 dollar control board here I put on it and it's either going to be the laser or the control board so I took my older Congro laser that I had on here originally seen in my first video I hooked this back up and then in light burn I done a test fire and it would not fire Therefore, that means that board is bad. Something happened, that board couldn't handle the 5 watt laser, and it killed the board. So I've contacted the company on Amazon to resolve the problem, or I have to buy a larger, better board for this machine. But the laser performed very well. And the size difference compared to this little tiny one that I got from Congro in the past, this thing is huge. This one you have to adjust the focus. The bigger one has fixed focus. It's got a fan on the top. Very cool. And on some of my tests here, my first one I did, as you can see here, was at 1,200 speed at 30% power. And I did that one. In my second test, I kicked it up to 1,600 to 60%. I'm, yes, I'm off center, but I'm just testing it. And then as I go up, you can see I've got a couple really dark spots here, and then it's getting lighter again. I'm starting to have an issue. 
and I'm having a problem there. And then I done some different burn tests and it should have burned right through this and it didn't. And reason being, uh, it's like that little control board was starting to die on me. So I will have to put a better, newer board on it. But as far as the laser, hey, it performed well. It's very nice. And if you go to put this on one of your 3D printers, um, it's got an extra Y cord, so when you open up your printer and you hook it up to the fan port, you can have the Y hang outside of the control box. That way, when you go to switch from 3D printer to laser very easily, you can just unplug it on the outside of the machine. It comes with glasses. The glasses are nice to have. This deflects most of your laser, your problem, you, so you you know won't get hit in the eye, but still, for safety, always wear your glasses around this. But it's very nice. It has this red shield down. It's really close. And you just get a bright reflection off of your work area, which you'll see here in the video. But yeah, um, no problems with it so far, other than that board died on me. And I've got to work that out, and that'll be in my next video. So I can show you some really cool stuff I can print. But yeah, um, seems to be fine. The smaller laser, um, when I tried to hook it up on my Ender 3 in Lightburn, I couldn't get it to the software to work properly. And I kind of gave up on that idea. So anybody buying this laser, I would recommend, hey, make a DIY uh, printer. Just do it yourself and put this laser on that. Like I said, this video is not about me putting that on one of my enders because I'm not going to do it. It's for this purpose only. But, yeah, uh, great product. There's a link here. I'll show you where they're at over on Amazon if you might want to check one out. And, uh, you know, thank you very much for watching. And check out, let's jump over to the Amazon site and... Uh, I'll show you a quick burn, and then I guess that'll be it for this video. But, but yeah, um, really cool. Thanks, guys. Okay, here they are over on Amazon. The reason it says I purchased it two times, when I first ordered this on a Saturday here in Las Vegas, it should have been here Monday, and then Tuesday and Wednesday it got delayed, then it said it was lost. I called Amazon, they sent me another one, and then like two a week and a half later it finally came. So that was an Amazon mistake, or this video would have been out sooner. But yeah, a Comgru 5 watt engraving module compressed spot for laser engraving cutting machine, 40 watt optical power eye protection, uh, actually 40 watt inputs, 5, 5 watt output about, and uh, I don't know why companies say that, it kind of confuses people, but yeah, it's a very nice unit, it says it can cut a, a plywood non-woven fabric, uh, uh, Let's see, wood, slid wood, wood, glass, paper, plated metal. I'm having trouble reading this without my glasses on, guys. Stone, acrylic, you can etch. Um, food, if somebody wants to, I guess, burn in your sandwich, your name or something, I don't know. Ceramic tile, no, that's the painted tile. Uh, that's, uh, I've done that on my K40. And uh, stainless steel, it might be able to mark it. It can't etch stainless steel, but we'll find out plywood and then real thin leather like my or a wall or something you should be able to burn in that that's stuff like that um but for my purposes today it's going to be a, for my diy laser and here's all the different parts that come in the pack that i just showed you and uh yeah um i'll put an affiliate link down below where if you want to check us out over on amazon and uh, uh so far so good um it says it's 12 or 24 volt I have it hooked up to 12 volt system. Seemed to work fine until it didn't. But then again, I believe it's that $12 control board like I was talking about. But, and then explains how to wire it. The paperwork is really vague on some of their pictures how to wire it. But you hook it up to your uh, fan port on your Ender 3 or such. And then when you, uh, after you set things up, you can go in and you, uh, when you go to fire the laser, you crank it all the way up, your fan speed all the way up. But like I said, I'm not doing that in this video, so... <clears throat> Anyway, uh, yeah, um, so far so good. So, but here they are. So, let me uh, show you another burn with the laser and uh, show you some cool pictures. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate everybody watching and uh, happy laser printing. And here's some more, a little more video and some pictures for you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, please like, subscribe, share this. I'd appreciate it. And until the next video, uh, happy laser printing. Stay tuned for some more goodies.